I'm Julie Nemeth Harn, Vice President of Harn RO Systems. Today we're going to tell you a little bit about the City of LaBelle's Reverse Osmosis Water Treatment Plant. The City of LaBelle is a historic town located about 35 miles east of Fort Myers, Florida. They had about a 30-year-old um, existing lime softening plant that was reaching the end of its useful life and it was at capacity. So the city decided they needed to develop a new water source. They found a deeper water source located a few miles south of town, but it was high in total dissolved solids, so they knew they would need membrane treatment. So they decided to do a pilot test, and in the meantime, we added a small nanofiltration system to their existing plant to tide them over until the RO plant could be built. The pilot test was very successful, and we developed important design parameters for the design and construction of a 1.5 MGD reverse osmosis plant. The city obtained funding from the USDA and the South Florida Water Management District, and they designed and constructed a 1.5 MGD RO plant that was completed in May of 2014. Jonathan Harn, from the project manager from Harn RO Systems, is going to tell us a little bit more about the details of this RO plant. Hello, I'm Jonathan Harn, project manager with Harn RO Systems, and behind me are the two RO trains at the City of LaBelle Water Treatment Plant. Each train is operating at 750,000 gallons per day for a total plant capacity of 1.5 million gallons per day. As you see the train right now, it has 14 vessels in the first stage and 8 vessels in the second stage. But it's designed to be expandable to have 21 vessels in the first stage and 11 vessels in the second stage to give it a capacity of 1.125 million gallons per day. This plant has two artesian wells that are treated by sand separators outside the building. And after the sand separators, the water flows through the two cartridge filters that feed each train. Uh, each cartridge filter housing is sized for each train's feed flow, and they're manifold in parallel so that either cartridge filter housing can be fed to either train. There's a separate blend cartridge filter housing that just treats the raw water blend stream that is taken off before anti-scaling is added. The skid frame is made out of structural fiberglass. Uh, the structural fiberglass is an extruded product, uh, so it's very dimensionally stable and consistent, and you can get all the same shapes in fiberglass as you can get in steel and stainless steel and aluminum. Uh, the fiberglass material is great because it doesn't rust. Uh, this frame is three and a half years old, and exposed to a very moist and humid environment. It's the same as, as the day it was installed. We bring all the instrumentation back to one central location so that from one spot you can see all the process values from all the different transmitters and also the, uh, the control interface. In order to make each train expandable in the future, we designed the frame to accommodate the additional pressure vessels. So you can see above the first stage, there's room for seven additional pressure vessels. And above the second stage, there's room for the additional three pressure vessels. Making the frame accommodate the future expansion is a very low cost way to do an expansion in the future while still having the train size properly for the current demand. The stainless steel piping has the ports already installed to accommodate the additional pressure vessels. This makes the addition of the pressure vessels easy and it's just a matter of uh, removing the caps and connecting the new pressure vessels. The cleaning system is sized to clean half of the first stage at a time and the entire second stage at a time. Uh, it's a two tank system which is real nice because it gives you a lot of flexibility in the order that you clean and um, uh, also holds permeate for flushing. So it gives you two tanks, give you a lot of flexibility for uh, different uh, sequences of cleaning. And uh, the cleaning system is located right beside the trains, which is nice because you're line of sight with the train that you're cleaning and makes it convenient to walk back and forth between the manual cleaning valves on the train and on the cleaning system. <laughs> 